We're the last sanctuary in all of Tamriel, and only by foregoing the old ways have we survived for so long. My only worry is her keeper. I'm not sure what Cicero expects to gain by bringing the Night Mother here, but he'll soon learn this is my sanctuary. Yeah, this Cicero guy, he is li like literally a fucking clown. <laughs> like, oh man, he's got like the jester outfit and everything, man. Um, all right, guys, let's go ahead and uh. I've got to deal with the Night Mother and her little clown. <laughs> let's go ahead and talk to Cicero here. Another member of the family. Hello, hello. So very good to meet you. Jeez, man, this guy is a. On a completely different level of annoying. Uh, yeah, blah blah. You family. already went through that. Hello, hello. So very good to meet you. Let's go with the second one. <laughs> tisk tisk. Do you mistrust poor Cicero? I am, as you say, just an innocent jester, a fool. Oh, but my work is not foolish, no. For I am our mother's keeper. And, um, that's fantastic, but why did you come to the sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Braville was desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my... Honor as keeper. Of course. Who is the Night Mother? Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> Do I? You of course know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Yeah, that's not twisted or anything. So, what are the duties of a keeper? I think I can figure that out for myself. She, uh, carries around a body in a box. Did she, was she like a giant or something? Why is this box so big? Whatever, uh, we need to talk to Nazir, that's why I'm actually here, so that rhymed, and time to- wait a minute. Oh, I, I was like, wait a minute, did I miss a, a shout there? But, uh, it would seem as though we got that shout, I remember that from a long time ago. It was this little marker arrow thing that threw me off. Thought it was a word shining on the, ro the, the wall, but... Nazir, I have my, uh... Death, my friend. I salute you. <laughs> We have uh, our contracts here for you that we finished. I see you're back from Dawnstar. They tilled lies dead, I hope. Yep. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. You're really funny, Nazir. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's, uh,. One contract so, down. What of the old beggar Narfi? Is it done? Has he groveled for his last septum? Yep, he's dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Thank you. Here's your payment. Alrighty, cool. Um, why can't I, like, go back to the other options? Go oh, wow. Still here. The hell? What's the matter? Guess Can't I just had to wait a little bit longer. Enodius Papius or Papius is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Yeah, man, splinters suck. Your payment for a job well done. Cool. He probably has a whole set of new contracts for us too. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. Do you have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Cool, looks like we're uh, good for now. What does he think about Cicero, so, though? 
I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. I see. All right, cool. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. So things are definitely heating up here in the Dark Brotherhood quest line. That's good to know. Seems as though there will be some sort of conflict between uh, this guy, the clown guy, and what's her face, Astrid. There'll be something going on there, but I hope the recording didn't get messed up because I've been getting weird flashes on the screen. Like static or something for a split second. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. What kind of dagger is this? A leather dagger? Oh, we need to get into smithing. Let's do that. Let's head back to Whiterun and see if I can make some iron daggers. I don't think that's an iron dagger. It might be like an ebony one, but uh, I wanted to read that thing, damn it. The sanctuary in Skyrim's Pine Forest is the Dark Brotherhood's last remaining refuge in all of Tamriel. You know, it seems as though the Dark Brotherhood got messed up since last time. Like, I thought things were all hunky-dory and whatnot after the end of the Dark Brotherhood quest line in Oblivion, which I never finished in my Let's Play, but still, it seems as though things were good. I mean, there was some kind of weird conspiracy thing and, like, everybody died. But things ended up being okay, I think, at the end of that quest line. I don't know. We'll see how things go here. I don't know if, uh... Because the Astrid is, like, going against the typical laws of the Sanctuary. She's, like, she doesn't go by the code or whatever it is. She's going by her own rules, and that might be something that I see a problem with in the future. In fact, I'd honestly want to take the side of the Night Mother and Cicero. I'd, I'd rather stick by the code or whatever, because that just makes everything more badass. We'll have to see what happens there. If I remember correctly, I did play through a little bit more of uh, the Dark Brotherhood, like the day it came out, that was the first thing I did. So I remember a little bit of what happened. I remember that, uh, like that particular conflict really heats up, but who do I need to talk to? I need to talk to Warbear, Ulfric. Is it Ulfric? Not Ulfric, but Ulf Birth, I believe. Let's go ahead and wait for a bit. I was about to go inside of the Breeze home and say what's up to Lydia, but then I remembered that she's, uh, she's dead. Because once you die, you're dead. And that kind of sucks. At least for her. That's, you know, she's dead. We're not dead. We're good. But she died. Therefore, she is dead. All right. Into War Maidens. Let's sell some, some shit. I forgot to get Onman, didn't I? God damn it. Now we're going to have to go back to Dawnstar when I get the opportunity to, uh, We've got small weapons as well as the finest. Go ahead and grab him. Alrighty, so I want to sell this thing. One of these. Ooh, an elven sword. When did I get that? I think it's pretty beast though. It's not as good as the Skyforge steel. Oh no, it's actually just as good. It's worth a little bit more. Does it weigh more? Oh, it does. I don't know. Let's sell the dagger. Orcish great sword of flames. I could hold on to that for a companion, but I don't know. It's probably not that good at this particular point. Iron arrow, that thing. Huh. Kind of want to hold on to the elven sword just because it's badass. Yeah, let's do that. I've got a lot of gold. I think I'm going to wait to buy a horse. In fact, I'm probably not going to have to buy one. I'll just get one from the Dark Brotherhood. Because you do get Shadow Mirror in this quest line for the Dark Brotherhood later on. Like in uh, Oblivion. But did I s really sell everything? Not that. There. Apparently I can't sell the Archmage robes. Unless I just did accidentally. Let me make sure that I didn't. No, it seems as though I didn't. Which is very good. Because I'd rather not do that. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Um, do you have any iron ingots? There we go. How much? Wow, if we buy all 27 of these, it's only 500 gold, really? All right, I'll take it. And leather strips, and I think that'll do it. All right, cool. Good doing. You look like um, is, I want to see if there's anything else I can sell all. though, really quick before we head out here. Miscellaneous, um, wolf pelts. I can get rid of all those. 
Got a lot of iron ingots. I'm pretty sure it's the iron ingots that I was supposed to buy. If it wasn't, then I'm going to be sad, but whatever. Killed a lot of snow bears, fox, wolf. And now we're good. In fact, my speech craft or whatever just leveled up. Out we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can start smithing. And from there... Um, what is the plan from there? I don't even know. Shit. I think the plan would be to do some companion stuff. I hope. I also have to work on enchanting in the near future, but isn't this the forge right here? Out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. That's cool. Can I use this? Blacksmith forge? Cool. Blacksmith forge used to create new weapons and armor from raw materials. Awesome. Iron. Iron dagger. This is it right here. Correct? Alrighty, uh, let's go ahead and create that. That's a decent weapon you've made there. Cool. Go ahead and make another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Holy crap. I can just make these all day. Ha ha ha. Awesome. That definitely levels up your smithing pretty quickly. Except now I don't have any more leather strips. Which kind of sucks. But what can you do? Shit happens. Alright. Nice. And uh, are we are we at level twenty four yet or level twenty three? I I think we're on our way to level twenty four. Yeah, we're getting there. We're pretty close. All right, awesome. So it would appear as though that's all the time we have. Actually, that went by pretty quick. So when we come back, guys. I think what we'll do is um, damn, I don't know what I want to do. I guess we'll see next time. I'll have to see what I feel because there's I want to do everything, but. Of course, we're not going to get everything done anytime soon. So we'll just take things in stride. I'm done planning through shit. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed these uh, batches of Skyrim. And if you did, please remember to leave ratings because uh, that motivates me to, you know, keep on doing the batches. I just want to know that you guys are enjoying the way I'm doing things. And it seems as though you guys enjoy the batches more than anything else. So... Please be sure to uh, leave all the feedback you can, comments and such, and I will see you guys next time. Love you and peace out.